Hi everybody. The Clico Atom came with 64K of memory. It's an 8-bit processor in it. The most it could address is 64K or 64,000, 65,535 characters. Or if you believe the marketing hype, it had 80K because they included the 16K of RAM that's in the video processor. Some games require extra memory and the Atom allows you to add extra memory. I've seen expansion boards that go up to 2 megabytes in size. But most games only require 64, ones that require memory require a 64K expansion. CPM, AtomCalc, TDOS will take advantage of that extra memory and use it, but they don't require it. Most of the times, or the vast majority of the time, you want to get expansion memory, you need an expansion card like this. This is a 64K memory expansion from, I'd say, 1990, maybe earlier than that, 1985-90. Then we have this one here. This is a one megabyte expansion card that we just made last or two years ago. A viewer sent it to me. It was working good and I broke it. I cut a trace because I was trying something and then I fixed that trace, but now it doesn't want to work, so that didn't work. So I want to show you another option too for your memory expansion. But first I just want to show you why you need a memory expansion. Now I'm going to use, for instance, I'm going to use the game Atom Bomb, which requires it, just to show you why you need it. The observant viewers will notice that this is not my normal Atom. It doesn't have the LEDs on it anywhere. This is my toy. This is the one I play with. So I started up an Atom Bomb. It's going to load and either it's going to crash or show some garbage on the screen. There. That shows you it wants that memory expansion. Alright. So sorry for the interruption there. Don't get a phone call all day. I get on the video camera. Phone rings. Erie, Pennsylvania. Bite me. I don't know who you are. The whole town of Erie, Pennsylvania is calling me and I don't care. So, as you can see, it crashes. You need that memory expansion. I want to get some memory expansion now and see what happens. First off, I'm going to shut, shut the system off. Open the thing up. These old power stripped power monitors, what do you want to call them? Nice. So I open it up. I'm going to take the memory expansion card and I'm going to put it in slot 3. That is where the expansion goes. Drop that in there. I'll just leave this cover off for now. Then I'm going to turn it back on. This system is giving me issues. <laughs> Error code image manager too large. See, it's been giving me issues. This system is just something going on in it. I don't know what it is. Or maybe it, it might be this is giving me issues. Somebody is giving me issues here. I believe it's this system here. Again, this is my system that I play with that I do modifications to. It's always had a little issue. This was the rust bucket at one point too. Uh, on the Retro System Rescue channel, there was a rusty one that came in. This is the rust bucket. So I've been having issues with it all day. But, anywho. 64K memory expansions installed. I can start up Atom Bomb now. Wait for it to load. And it should work. But as I've been saying, I've been having some issues with this computer, so maybe it may not. We'll see. And yeah, I, it may be issues with my ADE too. I'm kind of worried that this may be having problems. But see, I got that far. I loaded up there. If I tell it to load here, this is why I'm thinking I might have issues with the ADE because it starts loading 30 screens off the ADE, all this, and then every now and again, it just locks up or resets. And which makes me think there may be something wrong here. But so far, so good. Now, go through this little intro. I don't know, can I skip it? I don't think you can skip these intros by pressing buttons. You're just stuck watching this, this little intro. I guess they don't understand the skippies. Come on. It's an Atom game, but it doesn't use the Atom, key Atom keyboard. 
which I don't understand because if you play this game, you don't need a joystick to play this game. Press any key, press fire. Screen one. So see, as you can see, it loaded fine. So that memory expansion works good. And just to show you that it works under other circumstances, I'm gonna go into CPM. And I'm going to look at the RAM disk that CPM makes. If it finds an expansion card in there, CPM will make a RAM disk. And just to do that, I'm just going to stat the end drive. Stat means statistics or status. M is the RAM drive. I'm going to do stat. It should tell me I have like 55k free. 55k free. So it sees that. Now we're just going to, you know, we're going to do something else here. I'm going to unhook, turn it off. Take the memory expansion back out. And just for gets and shakers, I'm going to show you what happens when I plug this one in. Either nothing happens or the system locks up. So there's nothing wrong here. See, system locks up. Reset doesn't get me out of it, nothing. Something is broken on this one here. Which is sad because they only use it once or twice. Now, I'm going to do something. This is see this little jumper thing right here? Remember, this is my atom that I tinker with. I've got a jumper on here. Right in there, which I think you can see. But if not, you'll see it later. I'm going to take this to the bench. I'm going to install my little jumper on the, the header there. Sorry if you see in the back of my head. All right, so now I put the little jumper on the header right there. Turn on the system. Reset it. See, this is what it makes me think this is an issue. Look at this, it didn't even boot. Nothing. Maybe somebody can, has anybody else had issues with the ADE? I, I'm putting stuff on it using Linux now, so is that a problem? Maybe someone can tell me. And I know somebody will say, upgrade it, upgrade it. It's, it's up to version 80, really. It's worked all along. Why all of a sudden it stopped working? Is it, does it expire? Who knows? So, I put a little jumper in there. I'm going to turn on Atom Bomb. What's that little jumper do, you ask? Well, I could tell you. I will tell you. I added another 64K to this computer. On the motherboard, the jumper triggers this or enables the internal 64K expansion. So this computer here has 128K in it. I don't need this expansion card to play. Add a bomb. But the jumper lets me turn it off in case I want to use the expansion card. I was going to want to use it with this one along with my addresser card so I can get up to one megabyte of RAM. But it quit working on me again. So as you can see, She's loading up and you know, there's nothing in the expansion bay, so pretty cool. I'm just gonna let it go to here. I'll talk for a bit while I'm doing it. You may have noticed I've changed my setup a little bit here. I decided I didn't like having the whole wall being used up by the atom. I have other things that I do too. You see in the background over here, this is an XP system that I use. And down below it is the capture system, and down below that's another atom system. That's my other system I have. I have multiple systems. Then over here I have a wall of tchotchkes, little cabinets. I have all my little computer tchotchkes over here on the bench. Behind here is the ZX81 TS1000 setup, which is getting lonely, so I got to do some things with it too. I took a, some time off after February. I've been doing some other things, learning how to do stuff with Linux because I switched, I gave up on Windows. I don't like Windows, I want Windows 10. I said I'm enough for Windows 10. I switched over to Linux. I still have Windows 10 on the computer as necessary. That laptop is over, actually has a, that's acting as a capture system over there. It's running Windows 10. My main computer has Windows 10 still on the hard drive, but I've got that hard drive disabled. So it boots straight up into Linux on an SSD card. Let me tell you, SSD card or SSD drives are awesome. 
I've been creating 10 hour long videos on that using FFmpeg and other things, so I've been having fun. Anywho, let me see. Adam Bomb booted right up. Really nice. I'm gonna get back out of here. I'm gonna go into CPM just to show that the RAM is there. I could run the RAM test, but I don't understand. I'm thinking maybe this computer again. Sometimes the RAM test is loading up, sometimes it locks up, sometimes it draws me into Collegial Vision mode. So it's that M drive. What's that RAM drive look like this time? 55K. Very good. I'm going to just give it a shot and try to load up the RAM test just to see how it works. Actually, the RAM test has been pretty reliable on the internal. It's the external for some reason. It's not working right. Uh, then again, maybe not, as you just saw. Look at that. Nothing. One blank done. It didn't load nothing. That's why I'm wondering, am I having issues with this too? <sighs> the joys of old computers. They don't always work. See, nothing. And don't say, well, go get a new copy of the image and put it on there. I did that. Nothing changes. See, nothing changes. I leave this here. I don't touch it for two weeks. I turn it back on. Things don't work. Which makes me wonder why. So, I'm going to go into CPM and try it in here. I could have tried it in the other one. I think this one just tells me the back passes if it finds it working. Yeah. Found that it passed it. Done. That's all it does, which works, but it's not the best thing. Anywho, that's memory expansion internally on the atom, or an expansion card, or an expansion card that don't work. Let's see, I uh, see because long story, I got the smart idea. Okay, if you don't, if you know anything about how the memory works on here. The expansion card, because I, I realized that when I was putting the memory expansion on here, that really the only thing that is different from this memory and the memory on board, the atom itself, is that this one is using a different strobe, uh, CAS2 versus CAS. I'm not sure what CAS stands for, but it, it basically is what enables the RAM. So this one's using a different strobe. Other than that, it's all, all the same address lines, same data lines, everything's the same. So the RAM chip knows that it won't, it won't, like if you put a, you put an address on the address line. So just say you put on, I don't know, address 1024 on the address lines. And you want to know what byte is at that spot. Once you put the address on there, on the address line, you set it to the correct line. You strobe CAS, turn high and low, and the RAM chip, you strobe it or you enable it. It might be just enable. But you do something to it, and it causes the data lines to hold the data for that byte. So these all share the same. The external RAM shares the same as the internal RAM. They just use a different strobe. So they'll never respond to CAS. They only respond to CAS2. And you'll see that in the, I'm going to show the bench about how they expand memory. But my thought was this, when I was working with these computers, I was saying, I wonder if I, I chased down which one was CAS2 on here. I said, if I cut CAS2 and I instead ran a line from it to the atom on CAS, can I then instead use an external memory card or expansion in a dead atom board and have it boot up so that I can tell that yes, the memory on the atom is dead. Well, short, long story short, it didn't work. But after I sliced that, that's when I realized, now how am I gonna make it work again? So I had to chase down where the line was and I patched it and I did a good job with the patch. I patched it really well. But it don't work anymore. <laughs> I think I might have broke it. It was pretty. So, Mike, thank you for sending this to me. I'm sorry I broke it. Hey, oh, while I'm editing this, I just wanted to pop in and let you know that 
I hooked a memory expansion card that was bad into my other system and it works. So, uh, I guess another bad thing on my play atom that I mess around with. Huh, back to the video. Anyway, now we're going to switch over to the bench and I'm going to show you what I did on this thing. So this is my atom that I modified. I piggybacked RAM on it. Brought the 64K expansion line over. And I added a little jumper that I can remove when the case is closed so I can still plug in an expansion rim. If you want to know how to do this, become a Patreon member and you have access to the videos of me building this and you can see all the dirty details on how to do this. So you saw what I did on the bench. And as I said, I'll have a more detailed video on how to add the extension, expanded memory to the motherboard itself, how to remove the chips, how to solder them in, and everything else for Patreon members to access. So if you want to see that, you need to go on to Patreon. Eventually I'll release it for everybody else to see, but I, I need to give my Patreon members some exclusivity because they're paying a few dollars a month to get some extras. So I need to give it to them. Now I'm back here because I discovered something. I started to, okay, I'm on the hook. I'm gonna plug my old other atom back in with all the LEDs and stuff. And I realized the keyboard cable down here was not all the way in. And it made me wonder, was that causing my issues I've been having all day? So I plugged it back in. We use next internal one. Adam Ram test boots right up. Look at that. So let's just just try some other things. I'm going to remove the little jumper in here, so I'm not using the internal memory. I'm going to drop my expansion card in there. I'm going to see if this one works on there now. Come on, baby, get it in there. There you go. All right. Why do you? Sometimes this ADE reboots itself. It doesn't reset itself. All right, computer, stop it. Huh? <laughs> you are not playing games with me. So this is the issues I'm having, and this is what's making me start to think I've got something wrong going on here. This doesn't respond to reset line signals. Okay, let's try the built-in thing. No, okay. Keyboard wasn't an issue then. Same problem. All right, so this system has issues or the ADE has issues. At, once I get off screen, I'll put my other system back in here and I'll try it. And if I have the same issues, then it's either, it's probably ADE. I'm probably gonna have to buy a new one. I don't want to buy a new one. But I'm probably going to have to buy a new one. Anyways, have a great day, guys.